All right, guys. So my first video done in a while, and I have a good reason. Um, I got a new job. I got a new car. I got my whole life just basically drastically changed for the better. Um, so that's why I haven't made a video. But I had to. I had to take some time off and do some things. So, but today's vi uh, video is very important, very special. It was the tonight is Sunday, and it was the first. Uh, episode of Fear the Walking Dead. Um, so this is going to be my review uh, slash discussion video talking about it. Will be spoilers in this video, so if you have not seen Fear the Walking Dead, or if you just don't care, then cool. But if you do care, then go back watch. Go watch Fear the Walking Dead. Come back. I'll try to keep it spoiler light, so it's not super filled with spoilers, but. You never know what's going to come out of my mouth when I'm talking about The Walking Dead. This is my favorite show my favorite comic book my favorite everything of all time so we're gonna jump right into it so you've been warned five four three two one so fear the walking dead was a very very good episode it suffers a little bit from first episode itis i guess um first episode syndrome that being it's character building it's introducing things it's showing you your environment um you know, it's it's not as I don't think it's quite as um, it's not quite as uh, fast paced as season one of The Walking Dead episode one was, but we have to remember that this is in the very very beginning. The Walking Dead season one started after everything was pretty much gone to crap. Every, everything has gone to crap. Rick woke up in the beginning or in the middle of the apocalypse. It's already been a few months in this it hasn't even started yet it's just now starting and that's what's fascinating about this um this episode and what i think will be fascinating about this this show um is is just seeing like how these people are going to deal with it just starting yeah you know it's hard but a few months down the road our characters are pretty much and even now our characters are pretty much used to it you know not used to it's a bad word maybe not used to it but they've adapted to this world and um, they've grown in this world where these characters completely normal life we're gonna be seeing basically possibly what the regular characters would are doing like for instance what what was it like for Lori Carl and Shane and and then we saw glimpses of flashbacks of them bombing Atlanta and you know stuff like that but what were they really going through we don't know other than them just telling us this is the show that will tell us, you know, how people reacted, you know, and it's, it's, it was, it was, a, it was so good. I've seen, um, over, overall in my circle of friends and my, uh, Facebook and, uh, even the community, people are enjoying it. People seem to be enjoying it a lot. Um, there's some people complaining here and there, but, uh, you know, it's not as good as the, as the original show. Um, I guarantee that's going to be thrown out. Again, we have to understand the original show is on its sixth season, I believe. Um, off the top of my head, I think it's season six. This show's not going to be as good right now. I think this show has the potential to be just as good as the original Walking Dead. That's coming from the biggest Walking Dead fan ever. I, I, I believe I am. I believe I honestly am. Because I've watched The Walking Dead in basically all forms of media multiple times. It's I've seen every episode m multiple times. I watch them all the time. I mean, it's it's an addiction. It's an addiction, and you know, but I I can tell you when something's bad. Like if I really love something and they make something that I don't particularly enjoy as much as the you know this version, then I will let you know. I will be the first to let you know. You you know I am a huge Spider-Man fan. You all know this from watching my those who my subscribers, you know, watching my videos. You all you eight, I love you all. I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. Not every Spider-Man book I like, you know. Gosh, lately it's been horrible, absolutely awful. But you know, same with Walking Dead. I can tell you when there are not so great seasons or not so great episodes, and when there are great episodes and when there are fantastic episodes. I pretty much like every episode. I've never hated an episode, but there are clearly episodes that are slower than other episodes. 
this is a slow paced episode this is a long episode but it doesn't feel long that's that's the glory of it was it an hour and a half or was it just an hour i don't know but it, it didn't feel long and every time i thought it was ending i was like because i had a lot of those moments where you think it's just going to end and that's it um and i was like no 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 i want more i want more and it would come back and i'd be like oh okay i'd check you know my charter the dvr oh you know what there's more okay so we'd watch more and i was very very satisfied with the ending of this show this is where it gets into little spoilers the ending we find our characters finally seeing what a zombie is and there's a really cool scene you know like where the zombie has his bone sticking out of his elbow or like was it his up here i don't know it was somewhere on his arm and it was just jamming out and i was watching it with a good buddy of mine and they've never i haven't really seen anything like that on the walking dead or i haven't really seen a bone sticking out and they're just like totally cool we've seen them broken in half and we've seen them like you know, gaping wounds, but like that was cool. Seeing the zombies, their their skin was very, very, very new. Everything was very, very fresh on them. They're not decayed. Um, I even think the eyes were different than what they are in the normal Walking Dead. The eyes are like really bright blue. Um, and I'm not sure if they are, I can't remember if they were like that in last season of The, of the Walking Dead, the regular Walking Dead. Um, but whatever it doesn't matter in either way it doesn't matter but one thing i loved again was just like it was slowly outbreaking you know in the beginning spoilers um one of our main characters his girlfriend i guess turns into one but he thinks he's crazy because he's shooting up other people think he's crazy you know people are slowly turning into things there's a kid who brings a knife to school because he's scared because he's on the internet looking up things um you know, saying we're safer in numbers, blah, blah, looking up things. There's a viral video leaked of, like, you know, a guy uh, turning into a zombie and then shooting him. You know, you saw that in the trailer. Like, this, throughout the episode, it was just slowly popping up, slowly popping up, slowly building up. And I think that's where this episode shined, and I think this that's where this is going to shine. We saw a little preview for what's to come, and we're going to see, like, military bases and conflict with the military and the humans and... You know, that good drama that we really love in The Walking Dead. And, you know, there's been rumors that the two seasons will eventually intertwine and connect in the future. I don't know if that's very credible, but if it does, you know, this character, this this main guy, this uh, this man who we're following, I can't remember any of the names. I I'm, I'm really apologize. Um, I'll get them all, trust me. Um, he very much like Rick in the beginning. So will he turn into Rick? Who knows? Um, there was a quote from for the trailer for the premiere for the preview for the next episode. It's man does evil out of fear. Is that a premonition of what's to come? Will we see this guy spiral into basically what Rick is now? Probably. Um, but I would love if like these people like move from LA and like went you know towards up towards where rick's group were rick's group was traveling blah, blah blah they eventually intertwine like way later down the road and then they rival against each other they both think each other's evil or something they think they have to freaking kill each other like that would be so good but honestly i hope the show stays separate i do i hope the show stays its own thing i want walking dead in the summer and i want walking dead in the fall and in the springtime i want walking dead all year round you know like that would be perfect we'd have a show in the summer to keep us in keep us going and then it would just get us ready for the new season that's what this is so watch it with an open mind knowing that this is going to be slower we're nowhere near what the regular walking dead is you know we are in the very very beginning we're learning about these characters stick with it i think you're really gonna enjoy this um i'm gonna give this episode a i'm gonna give this one an a just an a not an a minus not a not a a plus it was very very good and it kept me entertained the whole time so give fear of the walking dead a try and i will be making reviews of every single episode and of 
The Walking Dead coming up. So that's it from here. Um, I just got these. Quick announcement. Just got these Harry Potter. Never read Harry Potter. I got these at a used bookstore uh, for like ten bucks. It was like the, this is the first five years. So maybe I'll. I just read the first one. It was awesome. I just read Sorcerer's Stone. It was really good. I. Uh, I will. I will. I. I understand why people like it. So I'm starting the second one. So maybe I'll do reviews on these. Maybe I don't know if they get enough views or whatever. But oh well. I might do it anyway. So. But that's it for me right now. I gotta go to bed because I gotta go to work in the morning. So. I'm peacing out, guys.